Hello and welcome to another edition of Tips That Wow. Although today it's not really going to be a tip, it's more some information that I'm passing on. People have a variety of ways of marking their big ceremony, which is what I'm all about, of course. And I recently went to a wedding which I conducted, which was a little bit different. You expect the groom to arrive an hour, maybe three quarters of an hour beforehand. 20 minutes before the ceremony I was on the phone to him asking him where he was and it turns out that on a whim he'd gone out to get some flowers for his fiancée and uh, ended up getting lost as it turns out. More than that, the ceremony was unusual that it was supposed to start at half past one, it didn't start till 2.15 and visitors, guests, didn't turn up till about that time and we were expecting 20 or so but actually only five turned up and a couple more drifted in during the ceremony. Four photographers burst in and uh, started work once the ceremony had already begun. It was all very chaotic. Uh, I'm glad to say that I was able to keep my cool and manage to conduct a ceremony that was very pleasing to the couple and seemed to work. Uh, but it does show that people have got other, perhaps, viewpoints, they're not always orthodox, and I'm glad that I can accommodate those. So whether or not you're orthodox, please find out more about how I might be able to help you. Thank you, and I hope you'll join me again for another edition of Tips That Wow. Well.